Hello and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Jen Zielinski, our top story. Residents living near Shelter Cove can finally head back home after a wildfire forced them out Monday evening. The fire grew to 460 hectares and had 60 firefighters, four pieces of heavy equipment, along with air support attacking the blaze. About 100 fire personnel from Ontario were also called in to help. This fire initially was two separate fires that have grown together into one and then we're, we're experiencing a lot of spotting on the fire so uh, we get this activity, it throws embers ahead of itself. Uh, I heard uh, from the overnight IC incident commander that in some cases several hundred meters where this fire was throwing embers and then it starts new spot fires and, and those fires then grow together. So. The fire was caused by lightning during a storm on Sunday night. With more than 240 wildfires burning across our province, both BC's Premier and the Prime Minister of Canada stopped into West Kelowna to thank firefighters for their hard work. The visit was brief, but Stephen Harper did promise to sit down with Christy Clark after the fire season to start a provincial-federal dialogue. When the dust settles, so to speak, on all of this, we're obviously going to sit down and assess uh, what new or different needs to be done in the future, what we can do in terms of coordination, better coordination, resources, um, mitigation. Uh, we'll look at all those things. There's been a good uh, cooperation among uh, governments in this, among various uh, agencies, and certainly the federal government always stands ready to provide additional assistance if that's, uh, if that's necessary. Climate change was also top of mind after Clark said she was concerned climate change has altered the terrain, drying out the land and making it more vulnerable to fire. Those living near Bolin Lake are also headed back home after a wildfire forced 24 homes to be placed on an evacuation order. The blaze near Falkland grew to 300 hectares but is now 50% contained. Another brush fire sparked near Silver Star, however it was quickly brought under control in a matter of hours thanks to air support and ground crews. The blaze grew to one hectare in size and was considered fairly aggressive at the time. It's believed to be human caused. Crime is on the decline here in Kelowna thanks to vigilant efforts by our local RCMP. Our city has improved from the highest crime rate in the country back in 2012 to the number four spot. Efforts have been focused in the downtown core where recently a team of 20 investigators made significant arrests of prolific offenders. The investigation resulted in 44 individuals being charged with 75 criminal offenses including trafficking, possession of stolen property, obstruction and breaches of various court orders. A bicycle chop shop was also dismantled and two people were arrested in connection with this incident. Well, it's that time of year again where our city is jam-packed full of festival goers here for the annual Center of Gravity. The three-day festival is expected to bring in 8,000 people each day. The event will host a number of sports including wakeboarding, BMX biking, freestyle motocross and even freestyle snowmobiling. Extra RCMP members will be on hand this weekend patrolling festival grounds in the downtown core. They're not expecting many problems as they warn those attending COG to be considerate of others in and around the event. Well, that wraps up Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Jen Zielinski. Thanks for watching. Remember to send your news tips to news at castanet.net and follow us on Twitter at, at Castanet News.